up? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salam. Uh, ISIS bride is being denied her rights as an American citizen, and her children are being denied their rights as citizens just because she went to join ISIS. She made a mistake, and she's willing to pay the price, but Americans are too stupid and too cruel to understand the plight of other people, especially people of the Islamic religion. Uh, this is why I wear a kafaya. It's a Palestinian shout-out um, that was inspired by the Kuali singer Nusrat Fatah Ali Khan, Khuda Hafiz Ki Yar Tik Tak Piyadi Larki. That's a, a Urdu Islamic trait uh, anthem saying that we fight for what is right in the Middle East. And that's all these people are trying to do. You know, we have this, this stick up our ass when it comes to, to treason, and we call it a capital offense, and you instantly have to die if you question authority. Like John Walker Lynn, we didn't kill him, but he has a gag order. He's being censored. He's being denied free speech, and he's in jail for 20 years for working with the Taliban to come up with a solution. Same as ISIS pride. Now, you don't see this kind of intense hatred and fascism in Europe. What do they do when people go to work with ISIS to help find a solution? They, they go rescue them. In Norway, they get the Somalians. The dad goes to rescue them. Germany, they go find that girl. They go rescue her. And no, no place can hold a candle to Canada when it comes to, to ISIS and, and, and uh, jihadist awareness. Like Omar Khadr. Okay, that guy, he went over there, he made some, some silly mistakes, as young people do. You know, you get these rich white kids who get away with drunk driving all the time, or even rape. But Omar Khadr goes there, makes a few mistakes, gets tangled up with the wrong crowd, like many have done in Kashmir, and hit some guys, whatever, he got in a fight. And then we threw him in Abu Ghraib, which is a brutal concentration camp that we should be ashamed of ourselves. There was guys once, they were eating so many chickpeas that they got overweight. And then they said, okay, we'll try to help you and give you exercise equipment. They got them exercise equipment that wasn't even halal. And it just showed the total lack of respect. Anyway, Omar got out of Guantanamo Bay, thanks to Justin Trudeau, God bless his cotton socks. And... We rewarded him what he was due, which was $10 million, which in Canadian dollars is not that much, actually. And everyone, the right was like, oh, but his sister once said something rude. Ooh, I'm so scared. The interesting thing about Pierre Trudeau, uh, sorry, Justin Trudeau, I always get those two confused because they're both heroes of mine, um, is that Trudeau recognizes that we can learn from these people. First of all, he has a program, a special thing he does where he deprograms you. So he deprogrammed Omar Khadr and made him back into a cool Canadian. It's like when Superman went to the, his house with the ice stuff and he, he took away his Superman stuff. Trudeau can do that when he deprograms Omar Khadr. And th what people don't get about hate is that outside of Nazis, obviously, who should just be killed, when you come across, uh, like, not hate, but, like, uh, confusion, like with Isis Bride, who I think she married three different jihadists and had a bunch of different kids, and all she wants to do is bring them here to help, we could learn from her. We could, like that guy, Christian Piccolaccini, or whatever his name is, he was a Nazi skinhead, and now he teaches us about hate because he's been there. Like, would you rather hear about rape from someone who's never done it or from an actual rapist? A rapist can tell you more about rape because he's actually done it and he knows what it's like. He can, he can get in the head of a rapist because he has a rapist's head. So with this ISIS bride, we should bring her here and she could teach us, teach us about, about love and tolerance and what goes wrong when you hate, use your brain, America. Stop the hate and help the hate from what what it was when it, it was hate. God. I am Miles McKinnis. I make videos about social justice. To see them all, go to nohate.com.